We are Darwin's Finest, and we did our 30-day experiment on Friedrich's ataxia. Friedrich's ataxia is a progressive form of muscular dystrophy, which affects every 1 in 50,000 Americans. It arises from a mutation on chromosome 9 on the Frataxin gene. An excess of GAA, trinucleotide repeats, harms the production of the Frataxin. The Frataxin is believed to aid in the composition of sulfur and iron clusters that help mitochondria function. Over the course of our 30-day experiment, we mirrored some of the symptoms of FDRA and studied their effect on the overall quality of life. It is most important to note that FDRA is a progressive disease, so symptoms were compounded and added to each other over the four-week period. The following experiments only tested two individuals, while two more served as the controls. All group members performed the ability tests. Week 1 focused on partial vision loss. All group members have a corrected vision value of 2020, but it was the two experimental group members who had to remove their corrective lenses with prescriptions of negative 1.5 and negative 3. Take the Snell and eye chart test and had to navigate to at least one class a day without their correction. While the effects of this week were not severe, they had definitely had inconvenience, limiting subjects to sit only at the front of their lecture requiring closer proximity to viewing things. Week 2 included the addition of hearing loss. While the controls had normal hearing throughout the tests, the diseased individuals had to insert cotton balls in their ears. This resulted in moderate hearing loss, which limits the ears to hearing sounds starting in the 40 to 60 decibel range. This impairment affected the ability to take notes efficiently, as well as participate in smooth conversations. Week 3 introduced the loss of the usage of a limb, most notably using an arm sling and a change in gait. This symptom is usually associated with the scoliosis and general muscle loss that can go hand in hand with FDRA. This was achieved through inserting extra inserts in one shoe and wearing a thick wool sock on one foot. It is important to note that this change in gait, ultimately adding an inch and a half to one side of the body, resulted in back and foot pain, which affected the diseased individual's mood and overall comfort level. The loss of a limb affected our ability to carry backpacks, dress, and manage simple tasks like carrying food trays in the cafeteria. The final week introduced the most challenging symptom of all, required assistance for mobility. While this symptom was primarily performed through the use of crutches, time mobility trials were carried out over the course of 2.6 kilometers with the altered gait, crutches, and a wheelchair. These variables were meant to represent the different severities of Friedrich's ataxia. These time trials showed how slowed down an individual can truly be when they do not have full usage of their muscles. The following figure represents the different physical ailments and the effect they had on how long it took each experimenter to travel 2.6 kilometers. As represented by the shorter blue bars, the controls that walked the distance had a much shorter time than the experimenters who either had to limp, crutch, or use a wheelchair, which were represented by the red, green, and purple bars respectively. When an ANOVA test was run comparing the different times, the overall p-value was found to be less than 0.01. This indicates that there is a significant difference in each of the times. This figure represents the deteriorating quality of life that was simulated in the 30 days. Experimenters recorded what they were able to do and what they were not able to do off the table for each day. The blue line represents the decreasing amount of abilities experimenters were able to perform, while the red line represents the abilities that were affected by the symptoms. As one can see, the quality of life deteriorated quickly as time passed. In conclusion, Darwin's Finest hopes that this 30-day experiment provided a personal delve and appreciation regarding the sheer difficulty of life, as well as the complexity on the genetic level of those with this degenerating disease.